Hi, I'm going to demonstrate to you demo for library automation software. Let's start. There are different menu options master, editor, beautiful, search, circulation, reports, and admissibility. Let's start from institution detail. You can change the institution name address of the institution, city, and contact information and of course you can change the logo of the institution from the chosen by choosing the physical location. Next is you can add the courses running the institution and yes this one is the maximum issue to a student of PFR cost, the maximum number of issued, number of the books by the from the library department, and from the book, there is also three. You can change it, update it, four, 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 and here it is. Now the institution department, you can add also from the institution department like the. English Here it is and one most important feature of the software is that is uh, you can just search by typing on the list suppose you want to search history here it is suppose you want to search the country here it is so it is the most uh, most best feature in the software not library department here it is the library department you can set the number of uh, the, the price to be charged if the book is lost by the student that is suppose you want to charge 200% uh, of the price of the book number of days return 15 and 1 suppose penalty is charged if the book is not deposited in the, in the given time with these two, then here it is. I have all the change. For the staff designation, you can add the staff designation. There are different uh, designation of the staff: vice principal, principal, lecturer. Purchase scheme. There are different kind of purchase schemes. Under where the library purchases the books, authors you can enter the master's information of the authors. Publication you can add here from here. Source from where the library purchases the books. The subjects is the computer subject and the subject you can also add from here you can just add the subject from here like such cross it is already added if already added then it will show the subject name now the books entry this is the most wonderful form in the software that is you can enter the books master entry from there and the book is uh, I'm going to capture capture um, you just type the one or two character and the book will be entered And the bill number, bill date, which is scheme, in which rack and which shell, the book active, if any demand. And save it. Here it is. 
I already entered some books uh, for demonstration. These are the books. And here also you can search the book by just typing on the particular book. And one most important feature of that is uh, you can add the book by just selecting the book. And suppose uh, open a chemistry and you want to enter from 12 accession number to 15 accession number then just copy it and here it is we have all the enter so this is the great feature in this software you can enter uh, the books uh, uh, in a large and cloning the book it's so easy and now the staff and the string information you can edit the staff information or the string information you can edit the staff information from here you can add the string information from here and one best feature is that is the shortcut keys the f8 save to f4 can say go f5 You can also change the image of this friend by selecting the physical location from there. And yes, of course, you can also click the image of this friend from here. You can use your camera, web camera. It is right. save it. The name Thomas has been saved. And here it is. And one most important feature of this is uh, annual phys physical verification. From here, you can uh, you can physically verify by using the barcode scanner. It is very fast and accurate. Book searching. You can search by author. Here it is. You can search by different uh, criteria like public publication type and publication and source and subject. There's no book for that. Right? Chemistry. Here it is the chemistry books. So, and uh, also you can export to the Excel. Now the book is status. You can check the status of the book by just entering the accession number. It will show the book is issued or not. The book is inside in the library. The book is active or lost or right up. So now the circulation. Suppose you want uh, you have chosen this instrument and uh, you can use the barcode. And you can issue the manually. Here it is. This book is issued temporarily. So I am issuing another book. Once again. Suppose you want, don't want to issue uh, this one, then you just uncheck and now confirm. There are two books issued to this event.
This one is nothing. This one is two. This one is nothing. And you can check. Here also you can uh, search by typing. Like, uh, you just type and find. Suppose this book is lost by this print, then lost entry. You can charge 200%. Here it is. If this print deposit the same book, then there is no, char no charges. And save the lost book entry. And it's done. If this one is deposited, you can change the deposit date and done. Now same in the staff issue, you can issue and deposit using the barcode or manually the same concept. And now the reporting portion. You can print the barcode of all books or you can print the barcode by using the selected books. And here it is, you can print the barcode of the book. Class dues. You can check the class dues from here. There's nothing. You can check the staff dues, if any. You can print the dues, no dues also. You can check the deposit box from here. You can issue not deposit box. Nothing. All box. Here it is. The reporting portion. And now, the admin utility, you can set the bar card accession or by manual. You can set by using the bar card. You can change the USD rate. You can change the accession number of the book. You can change the session. You can also add the session. And this one is the database backup. You can tag the backup on particular drive or a flash drive. And user management. You can create different user and load the particular authority or you can authenticate the particular user. And yes, of course, if you need any customization, I will provide the customization as per your requirement. You can download this software from here. Salesony.com. Thanking you. Thanks for visiting us.